If you're ever feeling like you're down in the dumps in terms of money and you're looking for an easier come up, this is probably one of the most cost effective ways to do it, okay? You got the SH-12 helmet, honestly, by far, in my opinion, the best budget helmet out there. Here's why. It has a high ricochet chance. So if a shot comes at you, it has a high chance to ricochet off. It not only has built-in headphones, but it's at the medium noise and sound pickup values, which you probably have to spend about like 25,000, I think, to get a medium medium. So to have a helmet that can do high ricochet with the noise reduction, it's really good. The only downside, you get shot in the face, you're dead, right? But again, we're talking about budget here. So there's always gonna be better things that you can do. This is up to you if whether or not you want to do it. In terms of armor, now this is probably my most expensive piece. And this is up to you if you wanna go really rags to riches, maybe a tier three. But this is one of my favorite tier four. It's probably in around 50K right now, but the market's gonna change a lot over the next while. So that's the armor. When it comes to the chest rig, honestly, you can go something super cheap, like a couple thousand if you want to. The reason why the B3 universal chest rigs are kind of cheaper or their price point for, for space is because you can find these on the boss squad so anytime that a boss is killed he has a bunch of guards and the chest rig is the b3 rig for them so it kind of gets diluted in the market and therefore the price gets driven down also i think the b3 was in some of the starter kits uh, as well either way this is a good one to do it's about 20k but again you can go something really really cheap in terms of the backpack now backpack is subjective do you want a larger backpack by by all means, go ahead and do it. But this is the one, it was 800 in the beta, but right now I think it's about 25, 2600 bucks. But this is probably the most cost effective for the space. You can do that, you kill someone, you can go out, take their backpack if they have something better. Onto the weapon, because the weapon's probably the most important thing when it comes to the actual uh, budget builds. Now, this is something that was heavily used in the beta and it's still really, really good. It's the M870 shotgun. By default, it's very, very cheap to roll with. What makes it expensive is whether or not you put on a sight or a suppressor, okay? These are the two most expensive items for the actual shotgun itself. So if you wanna save money, just get the shotgun and I'll tell you about the ammo here in a sec, but if you wanna go a little bit more bougie, you can in fact go with a suppressor. It just gives you a little bit of sound suppress and it's honestly really good, otherwise people might hunt you down. The second thing is uh, if you're cool with the iron sights, then by all means, or if you wanna go a different sight, a little bit cheaper, there are some reflect sights that you can go rather than the red dot. But this is the red dot, I, I like the red dot, so I, I ended up investing into it. So it can get expensive, but the base gun is really cheap and the reason why this is so valuable is the ammo. So the 12 by 70 armor piercing slug ammo is really, really strong it's got a level three pierce and it does a ton of damage so if you hit them anywhere in that head range they're probably going to go down one shot it's maybe in the chest armor or something like that it's maybe a couple of shots maybe three shots you know if uh, they're running something juicy it's all relative right it, it all boils down to relativity when it comes to the ammo versus the armor you're shooting against but in terms of like a budget build overall to build up your wealth again from the ground this is what you're going to probably want to look at something along these lines you can always move things around but the shotgun is incredibly strong the other thing with shotguns is you could look at doing the spr 310 same concept this is a really cheap gun so that's something else that you can look at now the key thing with your ammo is it's important to not put it all in your chest rig if you do have a case i highly recommend that you put your spare ammo down here now let me make an example here okay i put most of my ammo in my case and i put a little bit out for an actual reload however i'm only going to use this ammo on reload by pressing my r key if i'm in the middle of a fight let's say i go into a, a compound and i kill two ai and I'm actually down to ammo, I'm not gonna press R. I'm gonna go into my inventory and swipe the ammo onto the gun to reload that way, keeping my one clip in my chest rig. Why do I do that? Well, ammo is probably the most expensive thing and the most important thing when it comes to any build that you can go forward with. Ammo is the most expensive thing, more times than not. So if I were to die, I save 22 rounds of whatever ammo I'm running. Something else that I run with the case too, I'll put extra ammo stacks in here. So like, let's say maybe I was running a different gun and I put one mag out here. I'll keep the two stacks of 60 in my composite case. Same concept. You can also do this with like bolt action uh, rifles as well. You can keep your ammo in here if you wanted to in a small stack out. Same concept applies. So this is probably what I recommend in terms of like value kits.